Hey everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel, Chatting with Chops. Today I thought we would try and see if we can make some peanut butter sandwich cookies with some awesome peanut butter frosting inside. So let's get started. So I have all my beautiful ingredients out for these wonderful peanut butter sandwich cookies. And the first thing we want to do, we're gonna preheat our oven to 350 degrees. And what I thought I would show you today is a little bit of an experiment. So I'm using my regular little um, cookie slip mats on one cookie sheet. And then I'm just gonna use wax paper on the other one. Some recipes are much better to use the wax paper and then other, excuse me, I'm sorry, parchment paper. And then some, it really doesn't matter. So I thought maybe we'd experiment on this recipe and see if it does anything different with these cookies. And again, as I say, there are some recipes that specifically say what they want you to use and they'll give you reasons why. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is put in our one cup of brown sugar. All right, and then we're gonna put in our half a cup of butter that has been softened a little bit. I stuck it in the microwave because I'm doing this recipe kind of quickly. But since I live in the South, really this is something that if you leave it on the counter for a minute, you're gonna get this. Um, I do like to chop the butter up a little bit to make it a little bit easier on my mixer. So we're gonna drop this in with the brown sugar. And then we're gonna beat that up until it's just all nice and incorporated and creamy. Doesn't that look nice, all nice and creamy? All right, so then the next thing we wanna do is we wanna add our half a cup of peanut butter. I have my beautiful plunger measuring cup here, so I'm just gonna basically scooch that out and just wipe that across. Wanna get all of our wonderful peanut butter. And then I'm gonna put my one egg in. And yes, you can make this recipe vegan. You just would use applesauce instead of the egg. I try and make my recipes back and forth to both. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put our one egg in. <laughs> but again, most of my recipes are um, where you can make them either vegan or non-vegan. Um, so we have our one egg in and then we're gonna put our vanilla. And I like vanilla bean paste. So I'm going to put in my one teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. I'll knock this peanut butter down a little bit more. I'm going to make sure it gets in there. All right, so now we're gonna put our flour, which is three-fourths of a cup of flour in a separate bowl. And we're gonna take our half a teaspoon of baking soda, our half a teaspoon of salt, and our fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we want our fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, and we're gonna give that a little quick stir. All right, now we're gonna put that into our peanut butter mixture slowly. All right, so now we're gonna mix in our one cup of oats. So now let's give this a really good mix. Just to wanna make sure everything is all incorporated. All right, so it says to drop by two level teaspoons. So I'm just gonna 
get a heaping amount. And put it on, we're gonna use the parchment paper first and see how it does. It says you're supposed to leave them about two inches apart, so evidently these cookies are gonna spread. So I'm gonna give them plenty of room. And we're gonna cook these at 350 degrees for about nine to 11 minutes. And you know, wait till they get just a little bit brown and then take them out. And then we're gonna let them sit on the cookie sheet for about three or four minutes. And then I'll bring you back and show y'all what they look like. So let's get these in the oven. <laughs> so they have come out. It took 11 minutes for mine to get this kind of a golden brown. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but um, they, they made a pretty good sized cookie. I mean, they're not small. Look how beautiful golden brown those are. That is lovely. All right, we're just gonna put them on our cooling sheet, our cooling rack over here and let them finish cooling down and then we'll just keep making the rest of them. I will show you how the cookies turn out on the other cookie sheets as well. This was with parchment paper and you saw how easy they came off. So that was fantastic. So I thought I would show y'all real quick again. I don't know how well you're gonna really be able to see this, but this cookie was baked on parchment paper. This cookie was baked on my slip mat. I don't really see any difference whatsoever. Um, they both cooked at the, about the same time and everything. So um, just some recipes want you to cook on parchment paper, some of them don't. So I would say if it's a really ooey gooey sticky recipe, maybe you'd like to use parchment paper because then you can just throw those away and you don't have to scrub your slip mats as hard. But there you go. So we're just gonna let these cool completely and then we'll come back and ice them make sandwich cookies out of them. All right, so it's time for us to make the peanut butter frosting that's gonna go in our sandwich cookies. Put our half a cup of peanut butter in. There we go. And then we're gonna put our three cups of confectionery sugar, our vanilla extract, which I'm using vanilla bean paste, and we need one teaspoon. And then the recipe says you need up to five tablespoons of milk. So I'm just gonna slowly start adding my milk till I get my frosting to the consistency that I'm looking for. And I want it to be a little bit thicker so that it will hold on these sandwich cookies and not run off. So let's see what we get. All right, let's see what we got so far here. I'm not exactly sure the whisk was the right tool for the job. Yeah, I think that's really thick. I think that's gonna be too thick to even try and spread on a cookie. And actually that was four tablespoons of milk there. So I think I definitely want to add some more milk in. I'm just trying to make sure I've got all my ingredients at the bottom mixed in really good. So, and we're going to try and use the paddle attachment, not a whisk this time. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's a, that's as far as we want to go with the milk. And that was actually five tablespoons, so. All right, so we're going to start off with just putting a little bit of frosting in this piping bag because I'm not sure if my frosting is going to be too thick to even pipe. It may be just something we need to use a knife. To... All right, let's test that one here. So we have frosted one with a, I'm just going to put our lid on it and there you go. There's our little sandwich cookie. All right. And then we're just going to go on to the next one. I'm going to see if maybe using the frosting with a, a knife and just spreading it on and see how that does. You don't want to push too hard because you don't want to break your cookie. Okay. All right, and there's that one. 
they really don't remind me of sandwich cookies so much as they remind me of some little I'm not sponsored, but some like little Debbie snack cakes. That's what they remind me of. Okay. We're just gonna keep on icing. That's a big old cookie sandwich there. I think I would have recommended to make the cookies a little bit smaller. That way you could have had a little bit more of a bite-sized portion. I think the recipe meant for them to be really big though, so definitely something to consider making them in the future. I think we definitely have the icing at the right consistency. This is not good. This would not be good icing to do a cake with because it's too thick, but perfect for these cookies. All right, so we're just going to let these sit and kind of firm up a little bit and then we'll try them and see how they taste. Okay, so the cookies are all done. I've made them into sandwich cookies. I don't know if y'all can see that really good, but they turned out beautifully. It's got the nice peanut butter frosting that's in there and we're gonna try them out and see how they taste. Mm. Mm. Very good. They've got a little bit of a crumble to them. The oatmeal cookie, it's kind of a borderline between an oatmeal cookie and a peanut butter cookie. Very, very good. Little hint of cinnamon in there. And then the frosting is not like super, super sweet because it's got a little bit of peanut butter in there too. Definitely awesome. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch y'all on the next bake.